must meet with Laura as soon as possible, though it may happen. So far. A little fierce. Pray follow us with you as you're able to enjoy. Okay. Wait, there's another one here. Heaven sent. The way it, it looks like it's something that downgrades your. Uh, Go this way. We're going the wrong way, from Going the wrong way. Oh, it's this song. this for me. That's good. That is getting annoying. There we go. Others are hiding nearby. My Lord, here I am returned. Save your tears for the morrow. For we who yet walk the path should not think too much on the destination. When the hour arrives, we shall welcome what comes with open arms. And welcome it you did, even as the keep fell down around us. At that moment, in your smile, I spied a shred of hope. One which I have clung to ever since. Gorsetsu, full glad am I to see you alive and well. We have played this scene before, have we not? Though this time our roles are reversed. <laughs> that they are. Meaning you know how I feel. Wholly at a loss for words. Welcome back, old friend. Now then, though we rejoice at your return, it seems you have brought with you certain complications. Rise, my friend. Tell me everything. The Empire is bold indeed to send a token force to engage the Confederacy. As acting Viceroy, Yotsuyu would have been privy to Imperial secrets. The Garleans will not soon give up the chase. Nay, it will end with her capture or her death.
Are you a friend, too? She claims to have lost her memory, though I know not if she speaks true. I brought her here that you might decide her fate. Lost her memory, you say? Regardless, the people have not forgotten. Her face yet haunts their dreams. She cannot roam free. We will hold her here for a time. Place her in Jufia's care, with the express instruction that she is not to be seen. Yes, my lord. Come. No, I don't want to. Don't let her take me away! It's all right, Soyu. I will come with you. Be a good girl, and listen to Yugiri. From a hound at his throat, to a puppy at his heel. If this is an act, it is a remarkable performance. I... I don't think it's an act. I think she hit her head on the fall. Hard enough that it messed up her memories. Or even made her forget everything. And lucky indeed to have friends. Immediately at the yeah. oh. Here that their lord has In here, I was thinking I was in charge, but you had the right of it. <laughs> Why not? Aww.
if you want to get through the story, just follow the people, like other players. Or find the groups. They'll lead you to the, to where you need to go in this. If, uh, well, since everyone's doing it. One of those bent on charging to search. Ah, oh, by the Kami! Your Lord, he and... Leave me. Leave me, I beg of you. Say nothing of this. I, I, I was never here. What is wrong with you? There you are. Lady Yugiri, Lord Gosetsu, forgive me uh, my abrupt disappearance. You have your reasons, I am sure. Will you not share them? I was... I was her master. When she was yet a... courtesan. By the Kami. She... worked in my... establishment. Her father was a regular client of mine. One day, quite without preamble, he offered to sell her to me. Now, she may be no maiden, he said, but she has some use left in her. Wow. He sold her short. When I first beheld her, I was struck by her beauty. And yet, behind her eyes there was an emptiness. It was as if she had given up on life. She seemed more a doll than a woman. It was no profession for her, but I knew she would be popular, and so it proved. Men flocked to drown themselves in that cold, bottomless gaze. The rest you know. She became an Imperial informant, and for her loyal service won the office of acting Viceroy. Well, you came to serve the Liberation Front. It is said that the atrocities Yotsuyu committed were driven by vengeance. If so, I bear part of the blame for creating the monster she became. Joining the Front was meant to be my atonement. But the truth is... The truth is, I am a coward whose only thought was to escape her wrath, then as now. I see. Then I shall recommend that you be assigned to a new post. I trust you have no objections, you giddy? None. It would not do to leave Yotsuyu in his care. I am in your debt. Who is it that you seek to protect, Gozetsu? Idle musings. Pray, pay me no mind. He probably wants to protect, probably, the 
that last little light in her. It's probably what it is. Now is not the time for brooding. Come, let us rejoin the other. Thank you for your help in the search. Remember, I only say this. To on the move here, no, would not. While you were out searching for me, you were from our Shinobi Island. Okay. Sorry. Uh, I got sidetracked by something. You better not be trying to evade. We just tore down everything. We just tore them down. Did they want to try this again? Duty and not a breath. Now oh, I've seen it all.
now. Can't fly any higher than that. I know you cannot fly any higher. Now we got a, we have a perfect, yeah, we can go, go there without any problem. That looks like a portal. This looks like the Imperial's base. Area secure. Whatever our visitors' purpose, they believe they, believe they can achieve it alone. Signal. Thoughts, you giddy? Oh, that's in former that. times, such signals were used to announce the coming of an emissary of peace, in Doma at least. But could that truly be their intent? Who can say? Whatever they want, we cannot simply blast them out of the sky. Not when they were so gracious as to honor one of our cherished traditions. I would not have it said that we Dormans want for propriety. Then I shall go and reconnoiter. Nay, that won't be necessary. We will meet them openly. I would welcome this student of Dorman history in person, whomsoever he or she may be. As you wish, my lord. I shall arrange for a signal of our own to be fired in answer. should be received by the Lord of Dorma himself. I hate him already. I but afford an emissary of peace, the courtesy he is due. Welcome to Dorma, my lord. Ah, where are my manners? I am Asahi Sas Brutus, ambassador plenipotentiary of Garlemald. He is heir to the Nyuri clan. And Yotsu's stepbrother. It seems I need not introduce myself. Not in the presence of the famed Yugiri Mistwalker. Your skills as a shinobi are known far and wide, my lady. It is true. The former acting viceroy is my sister. Yet, bonds of kinship aside, we have precious little in common. 
as will soon become plain, I come not to sow strife, but to end it. I am of the Populares, a collective which represents the interests of the common man. Long have we laboured to bring about reform to the Empire's provincial policy. Happily for us, our master acknowledges the need for change. Indeed, his radiance, Emperor Varis Zos Galvus, personally sanctioned this mission, granting me the authority to speak with his voice. To negotiate peace with Dorma. I wonder why. Something is here and you need well, it. Well then, we have much to discuss. Will you accompany me to my hall? Gladly, my lord. Like him. I don't like him at all. I do not like him already. Yeah, I don't. If that's her stepbrother, then it. We shall escort our guests. I think he was talked about. Like, he was the actual, like. Like. They. They both joined the um, the Imperials, and he was better than her, and it made her such. <clears throat> Manor Doxis thing. I, I don't remember. I could officially say I have a bad feeling about this. The Empire Imperials trying to do peace talks. That's literally like saying. That's like me trying to make. That's like me trying to. Trying to make a a sandwich downstairs with like with a bunch of people in there driving me insane. It's impossible. I don't know. If that's the same thing. I, I've got. Nothing. I got nothing. I, I, that's just, that's where my brain went. Well, we'll try to spin that joke. Like, you know, terrible jokes now. May I ever accompany the Imperial Death? You know, Reedy, speak with the boatman and join us on the other side. Okay. Still don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I
Yeah. So apparently, people are asking about if you can do, um, like third songs from third parties, like copyright songs using the performance. It's like people are wondering if there's a rule about it. I think there is. Personally, I think there is. But there, I don't think Square Enix is really going to enforce it. It's just to save their... They just put it there to... Put it in the rules to save their skin in case somebody tries to sue. It's like, well, we we put it in the rules and... Well, they didn't listen. But I don't think... I really don't think... Third parties are going to jump and sue Square Enix all because people are playing third... Like, copyrighted music using performance. As the thing is, it's not really fully copyrighted because it's, you're taking a song and redoing it completely using different equipment and such. In this case, a bunch of harps and such. Harps. I, I really haven't seen any other instrument that you could play yet. They do. We got pianos though. Oh, I'm grinding. I'm taking up art just for that. So first things first, what do you think of the Enclave? I must say... Oh, most of it's been rebuilt! Nice. We have an air right now. Oh, yes you do! Losing the thing. <laughs> I doubt anyone would ever, I doubt any third party, like, musicians, like, like if I, if I, if I changed to a bar and started performing Tool songs in the middle, and using performance, I don't think Tool is gonna suddenly show up and be like, we're gonna sue Square Enix because of this, it's like, no. Eat, drink, eat, drink, and look at big. That'd be funny though. I wouldn't even tr to be honest. I, I don't think anyone should try to do tool songs. Those those songs are eight. Those songs get like most of their songs are eight to ten minutes long. Some are longer. There's a tool has an actual sixteen minute song that has been that is split. They had to split the song in two, two parts. Like one part's like four minutes, and the rest is like twelve, and it's insane. I don't know how they keep making songs like that. Can I show you in? On behalf of my delegation, I offer you my humblest thanks. Never did I imagine that I would meet the gallant and noble Lord of Dorma himself, nor be welcomed into his magnificent hall. You'll forgive me if we forgo the pleasantries. You say you are come to negotiate peace. 
such a word even part of the Empire? Unless I am mistaken, such negotiations are typically conducted between sovereign nations. I was not aware that the Emperor had recognized Dommer's sovereignty. His radiance has yet to do so, that much is true. No, however, that he has expressed willingness to cede Dorma to her ancestral masters and treat with her as a friend. Something is here, and they want it. And this Since is the, the only way they're going to get Solus, it. Since the days of Empress Solus, the Empire has aggressively expanded its territory. While you may not agree with our Founding Father's policy of expansion, I believe there is room for discussion on the matter of his lifelong goal, to rid the world of icons. Icons are a blight upon this star. They cannot be suffered to exist. This you know as well as we. In his wisdom, Emperor Varus wishes to explore the possibility of an alliance to combat this common threat. On the condition that Dorma renounces summoning and pledges to police the Corjin's practice of it, his radiance would extend the hand of friendship. Summoning? Dorma has never shown any appetite for summoning. And it should go without saying that we will address any threat to our people, Icon or otherwise. Well, there was the incident with, um... What's his name? Oh, what is it called? Tuzano? No. With regard to the Kojin, I must stress that they only resorted to summoning under extreme provocation. When the Ruby Sea was at peace and their sacred relics safe, they looked not to their kami for protection. Yet even now there are certain parties who would destabilize the region with ill-conceived military forays. Unless they alter their course, we cannot hope to be rid of icons. Quite. I can but apologize. In seeking to eliminate icons, the Empire creates them. Oh, Tis finally, an puts... irony among ironies, one with which the people of Eorzea are well acquainted, I am told. Indeed, many summonings are the result of persecution, the weak being driven to call upon the divine for deliverance from the strong. So it was in Alamigo, the bitter fruit of Garlean oppression. A tragic state of affairs. If we are to put an end to summoning once and for all, it shall not be through might, but harmony. Yet we continue to repeat our mistakes, oblivious to the lessons of history. My comrades and I would change all that. We, Populares, have campaigned long and hard for a shift in Imperial policy. And at last, the Emperor has seen fit to lend us an ear. Alas, there is a faction within Garlemald that would obstruct our every attempt at reform. A collection of pure-blooded Garlians who seek to consolidate their own supremacy. The Optimates. Lest you wonder, Theirs was the hand that loosed our forces on the Confederacy. T'was a regrettable incident, one that flies in the face of everything we believe. And I swear to do all in my power to prevent a reoccurrence. That would be most welcome. But if I may speak plain, if the Empire itself is not of one mind, how can we be certain that any peace we negotiate will be honored? I cannot blame you for doubting us. Indeed, I should find it strange if you did not. And so, in the name of building trust, I would like to make a proposal. A prisoner exchange. What? Hmm. 
Under Galian rule, no few Dormans were conscripted into the Imperial Army. We would repatriate them in return for those of ours you captured in the recent conflict. And there it is. You trade... Yep, they'll trade the... They'll trade the Domans that they have for her. Naturally, any exchange would include the acting Viceroy. There it is. Do it. Yotsu? What makes you think we have her? Forgive me, my lord. Was it not your wish to speak plain? Let us not play games. I desire only to work to our mutual benefit. Uh -huh. The Optimates tried and failed to take my sister by force. I would succeed by peaceable means, thereby strengthening my party's hand. It would be a lie to say I would not also be glad of my sister's safe return. Hmm. A fellow plain speaker. How refreshing. Very well. Your proposal has merit, but I will need time to consider it. Of course, my lord. May we remain in Dorma until you have come to a decision? You shall be our honored guests. Yugiri, I leave the ambassador and his retinue in your care. See that they are well looked after. You have our gratitude, Lord Hien. We shall look forward to your answer. That was... I beat Frost. Oh! <laughs> and 
weapons to melee. So no weapons in the central on this. Tofu pancakes. Bite sized balls of fried pastry, each containing a. Okay. That's steak. Oh. I want the money, but at the same time, I just want the steak just to be like, I got steak, guys. Is forgotten? Like this, I don't trust any of this. Hey, oh, this is the enclave when it was to sh Oh, I remember this area. Oh, okay, I've already. Pick up cards again soon because they've changed everything. They've um, changed how like how winning cards and like such work now. Like apparently the icons that show who who you can play cards with. Now it shows like different different icons for them depending on if you've won cards from them and the Kaikon will actually disappear if you've won all the cards that they have that you you need to get from that person. It makes 
it makes it so much easier to know who to actually play against and who not to play against. So, we're gonna probably jump back to that. Uh... I miss playing cards with him. Yeah, this is Dome with Cassie. Oh. What the? You can now fly on your car, Bunkles? Savagery sword, I need What fate though? Oh. Nothing important. It is travesty. Is this? this? This just seems weird. I don't trust this guy. I said this before. There's just something off about this whole thing.
Oh. Not yet. Hold on. 